problem 4.13. And we'd like to calculate, in this case, the moment that this force F produces respect to the axis AC. So here we have an axis. And this is the axis. Let's describe that axis by a unit vector AC. And we want to calculate the moment, moment respect to that axis AC. The definition is that we can calculate the moment respect to any point of the axis. So it could be moment at A, scalar, the unit vector AC. But it could be also, since I can calculate it by any, vague, any point that is located at the axis, I can use either A or I can say that the moment of that axis, which is a scalar, is the moment at C, scalar, that vector. So as you see, I can use, this is an O here. So it, I can use either approach because I can use any point of my axis. Since the point B, which the, where the force is located, is closer to C, I will use this approach. So I will calculate my moment respect to A of the moment at C. Let me write it down again. And moment at C will be equals to the vector Look, uh, the vector that, the distance vector, right, from C to B, which is where I'm taking the moment to the point where the force is located, cross F, scalar AC. And to do this product, there's two different approaches. First, I can do this cross product and then a dot product with this vector, or I can include that everything in one matrix. So the first thing we have to do is find how much is this vector. Let me do it right here. So this vector AC will be the vector AC divided by the magnitude of the vector. So to go from A to C, I cover 4 feet in I plus 3 feet in J. And I divided that, and of course, this is the square root of 16, which is 4 squared, plus 9, which is 3 squared. So I already square it. I don't have to write square here because it's 4 squared. So that will be equal to 4 over 5. Let me write that more clean. Right? So 4 over 5 in I plus 3 over 5 in J. That's equals to 0 0.8 in I plus 0 0.6 in J. So that's this vector over here. So we were able to find this unit vector that describes this axis. I also need RCB, which is this vector over here, which is negative 2K, and is in feet, right? I always have to use the proper unit and the vector F, which we already know is this one right here, right? I'm going to write it in the same color so that we know that this is the same vector, I plus 12J minus 3K, and this vector is given in pounds. Okay, so the first approach that I will do, first approach I will call it, is that I will do the multiplication of this vector first, and then I will do first the cross product, and then the result, I will do a dot product with the unit vector. Let me do a line over here so that we have. So I will calculate first my moment at C, which is RCB cross F. 
that's equals to negative 2k cross 4i plus 12j minus 3k. I could do write that as a matrix, but since th this vector has only one component, I will use this multiplication rule, right? That I know that i cross j is k, but in case that I go in this direction, is negative. So k cross i, I get mm, positive j, right? So that will be 8 in j. And then k cross j is negative i, with this negative is positive, and that will be 24i. And k, so I did this, I did this one, and I did this one. And k cross k is equals to 0. So that's the value of this moment. And now that I have the value of this moment, I will multiply this vector, right? which is 8j plus 24i scalar. Oh, I, I forgot this negative because it's k times i is positive, but over here we have a negative. And here we have k times, just reviewing is always very important to review, k times j is negative i with this negative become positive. So that's correct. This is a negative value over here. And we will do dot product with the vector that we just found, that is 0 0.8 in i plus 0 0.6 in j. So we can actually write, let me write that so for to avoid confusions, I will write it in the proper order so that will give me 24i minus 8j. Now that I have dot product, remember that i dot i is 1, i dot j is 0, j dot i is 0, and j dot j is 1. So therefore, my result is equals to 24 times 0 0.8 minus 8 times 0 0.6. And if you do these calculations, you get that the value will be equals to 14.4 pounds, right, per feet. And this is the result for that moment. As I said, I will do two different approaches. That was the first approach, and we got a result. Let's do the second approach. The second approach, let me do it in a different color. So. So, second approach, I will do the multiplication as a unit. So what I will do is write that my m lambda ac will be equals to this multiplication, right? But what I am going to do is do that in a matrix form. The first row will be my unit vector, the second row will be my vector CB, and my third row will be F. So my first row is this vector that I found, which is 0 0.8, 0 0.6, and 0. My second row will be negative 2K, and my third row will be the vector F. Now that I have that matrix, we all know how to do that product, and that will be equals to the first term in the first row, which will be 0 0.8, that multiplies to 0 times negative 3 minus 12 minus 2. So this is the value for i. The value for j, you always remember, that is negative, so it's negative 0 0.6. Even though this is a positive value, that has to, because it's a second column, it, you have to put a negative value, remember that, and that will be 0 times 0, negative 3 minus 4 minus 2. And then I have 0 
that I would just write it like that because it's zero, zero times zero, times zero. Everything is zero in K regarding the third column. But as you see, I'm not putting here I, J, K because this is the, since we already substituted the first vector by the unit vector, this gives me a scalar amount. Okay, a scalar quantity. So if I do that, that will be equals to 0 0.8 times 12 times 2 is 24, and negative times negative gives me positive. And then I have a 0 0.6, and this is 0, and this gives me a positive quantity. And as you see, we got exactly the same equation. So if we do these calculations using the second approach, it gives me exact the same value.